Hello, my name is Claude, and I'll be showing you how you can um, install, um, add your own custom icons, and get the icons to work inside of Minecraft. And let's begin with our uh, brief tutorial. First of all, you might want to get the Photoshop plus resource pack file. The reason for this is that I have everything set up for you already inside of Photoshop, the Photoshop file, like um, guidelines and everything. So I recommend that you get this one if you have Photoshop and or is on PC. But in case you're on mobile, I recommend that you get the zip file and edit the PNG, the texture directly, the PNG file directly. But if you're on PC, I recommend getting this one. It's much easier. Get this one. Download this. I already have it installed. I can just close that. Extract the the zip, open it, and as you can see here, we have uh, two PNG files along with two uh, PSD files. These are the Photoshop files. If you're on mobile, you can just uh, directly edit uh, the PNG file, but if you're on PC, I recommend using this one. It's much easier. Let's open our Photoshop. Okay, so as you can see here, um, on our texture, we have uh, grid numbers, and this will be important later where we will use the number and the, the, uh, the name of the texture, like here it's glyph underscore E1, and then the grid number, we'll be using those to get our icons into the game, so that's important. So uh, let's add our custom icon. Let's draw a picture of a heart, a very scuffed heart. There we go. And a square. You want to make. You might want to make sure that um, it's on the left side, because um, originally, like every other icons are on the left. Let's add a square, just like that. So our heart is on grid number 10. This one is grid number 10. And uh, this one is on grid 11, as you can see here, 11. And we want to remember that. Uh, and now let's uh, disable this layer. You don't want to save, you don't want to export your PNG with this layer because you will get the guidelines uh, at the back, in the background. So. Just make sure you turn this layer off. Turn this off. Click on File. Uh, go to Export, Export As. Make sure it's um, PNG is selected. Export. Put it anywhere. And we got our custom icons here. So now our next step is to um, get this into our resource pack. This is our resource pack in a zip. We can just drag this out. And of course, um, extract it. Open the, the resource pack folder. Go to fonts. Go to fonts. And here you can see all of the uh, icons, textures, uh, the the one that's originally there, you want to delete this one because uh, it's the glyph E one and add it in. Now you have the the custom icon of glyph E one. So what do you want to do now? Uh, you want to get out of the folder. Also, this this is the the logo. It's basically the same process, but this one has more uh, resolution. It's 90, uh, 960 by, nine, by 960, whereas this one is only 256 by two, 256. Uh, just get out of the folder and zip it. After zipping your folder, just hold on. After zipping, just change the, the the file type from zip to mcpack so that you can open this in-game. 
All right, let's import our texture to Minecraft. Oh, I have a duplicate file uh, install. Hold on, I can delete this. Like, if, if this appears for you, if it says duplicate uh, resource pack, then you can just go to settings, go to, uh, where is it at, storage, find resource pack, and scroll all the way down until you see uh, the duplicate. This one, remove it, and edit again. And there we go, got our pack. Let's uh, create a new world and put our resource pack in. Where is it at? Activated. Now it's activated. You can you have to turn this on or not. Creative. All right, let's call this for tutorial. Okay, so let's get ourselves um, the icons into the game. Now that we have it as a resource pack, we can just go to uh, this website right here, which is the wiki, the bedrock wiki. Go to this uh, page specifically and scroll all the way down, all the way down to this, this thing you see here. This is a, a tool, it's a converter. What you want to do here is find where your texture is located. Like if your texture is located at uh, grid zero zero, just type in uh, like the the texture the texture name, which is E zero for this for this one, and then type the the grid number. But for our for our E one E one glyph, as you can see here, this is the E one glyph. Um, where is it at? This is not it. Where is the E1 glyph at? Basically, um, we want to put the, the modified uh, texture, the texture name, like E1, put it into the converter. E1, and then find the grid that it is located at. So our custom icon is located at uh, number 10 and number 11. Let's do number 10 first. Let's type 10. Click convert. Now I'll copy this and then attempt to paste it into the game. Paste it. And as you can see, um, the icon appears, our new icon. And you can type it out and everyone can see. And let's uh, do our second icon, which is number 11. Let's do 11. Convert, copy this, go back to the game, and type that out. And as you can see, you get a square. And how do you get the, the logo, you might ask? Uh, go to the same thing, but the logo is called Glyph E8. E8. Make sure you uh, go to the converter and type E8. And uh, the icon for the glyph. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. For our, uh, for our logo, um, it's inside of the E8, E8 glyph, and it's at uh, 0, 0, and uh, 10. But I want to get number 10. It's, it looks much cleaner. Let's get number 10. E8 and then 10. Convert that, copy this, um, and paste it into the game. And as you can see, a whole icon appears in the game. And now let's get ourselves a command bug. Give P command bug. Place two here, a ship it. Here you wanna copy these commands from my YouTube YouTube video. 
I leave I left it down here. And then this one. This one is for the title. Oops. Let's paste our title in. Title raw and then the icon. The the end end here means new line. It like makes the text go down. When we step on this now, the icons appear. And if we want to do the subtitle, we can do that too. This title raw at a subtitle. If you want this to be just you yourself, the closest person, make sure you change this to P. And as you can see, you get both the title and subtitle with our custom icons. You can just place the 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 hearts. Well, how do we get the hearts again? E one zero zero is it? Ten. There we go. There we go. And as you can see, our custom icon now displays on our title. Yeah, so yeah, that's it for um, this tutorial. Uh, thank you. Thank you for reaching out to me. I know that a lot of people are not able to get this working, but I'm way too busy. I'm studying university right now. So yeah, that's it for the video.